Okay. Let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. Wonder how big we're going to make it. Going at 200 to start with. Going to reverse the colours. Actually, we're going to darken it. Actually, we're going to leave out the red. And the hue, we're going to warm it up a bit. Leave that there. Actually, we don't need that because we're not using the RGB, so we're just going to go dark. And maybe just zero that well we can use contrast because we're not using brightness so we can add a little bit of extra contrast I'm actually wondering we're going to leave the hue on there intuition is telling me to do it that way let's see what we've got everlasting gold it's a jewelry pamphlet and we're interested in this picture here it's got numbers which is annoying but what can we do you know I'm just going to use it as is heavy metal oh, they always have to use fucking slogany things haven't they silly advertising so we're going to just push that up a bit slide that across oh fuck I hate that but yeah, it's a bloody jewellery store booklet, or bro not brochure, it's more like a pamphlet. Although it's not shaped like a normal pamphlet, but it's printed on pamphlet type material. But they, yeah, they're always trying to sell more shit. Anyway, that looks nice. The colours look nice. We just don't want all this blurby shit on the bottom. So we're going to have to uh, maybe enlarge it off. Enlarge it on the vertical, if I'm correct. So we're just going to try and have a look where we are. It's up and down, so maybe... Let's see... We're going to keep it on 200, but we're going to move it down to get rid of the, the writing. So we're going to slide it down and see how we go. So this is a jewellery pamphlet. And it looks like we've got a good, a good shot at it. Uh, yeah, we still... Unfortunately, we got the edge of the page there. Um, I think that's... I have to work on that. I think I'm going to have to enlarge that one off. I think we, we should maybe push it up a bit once again. Hopefully it won't show the ugly probably will I don't know we'll soon we'll soon find out we're just gonna slide it uh, up a little bit just a little bit not much we're just gonna slide it up a little and we're going to enlarge a bit on the horizontal to get rid of that other stuff so we're just going to go on the horizontal we're going to make it 200 and for oh damn this interest input error 104 and the vertical is going to also actually no not 104 204 <sighs> damn I'm making a fucking mess of this gonna make it 205 by 205 we're going both ways 205 But yeah, this is just a pamphlet, a jewellery pamphlet. I got it in my letterbox. 
so I didn't even go to a shop to pick it up. I found it in my letterbox. So they always drop leaflets and shit in our letterboxes. Anyway, that looks much better now. I think that's the way we want it. So we're now going to work on our mirror image thingamajig. So I'm going to make this the centre of our job. Where's the centre of our job going to be? Just there. So we're going to just hit that. It's going to be a lot of black, which means curling. There's a lot of black on this image. It's a negative image. So we're just going to try and line up the corners the best we can, despite the effect of curling that we've got. Not as curly as what it has been in the past, but it's still curly. Okay, now we're just going to put the mirror image together and the photocopy is making a funny noise once again as it normally does. Hang on, we're doing this the wrong way. I've got to turn it up that way to complement the, the normal pages, these mirror images. So we're just going to try and line up as best as we can despite this problem we have with the curling. So it's just not playing really well with this curling problem. But you get this when you make a lot of, when you put a lot of black on your page, that's what happens. And it doesn't always come off as nice as it should. But apart from the curling, that looks quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.